Welcome. At home is a Qubit Max 2 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So to start off, we're going to begin with the device theme and what it will allow you to do is just change a little bit of a theme, not precisely everywhere, but for instance, this uh, notification panel can be dark. So let's actually open up settings and go to display and then tap on advanced and you should find at the bottom device theme. And from here, you have three different options. You have light, which is set by default, then dark and automatic based on wallpaper. Now, based on wallpaper, basically, if you have a dark wallpaper, it will make it dark. If the wallpaper is bright, it will be on the light side. But you can also set it to actually be dark, no matter what kind of wallpaper you have. And now if I would leave and pull it down, you can see that it is now dark. Okay. So now moving on, we're gonna go into another option that I personally find very useful and it is the show password, or more precisely, when you disable it, it's gonna hide it. And when you go into, for instance, network or any anywhere we need to put in a password and you start typing in the password, you can see that it always shows you the first letter or the la latest letter that you have pressed. So if someone is actually peeking over your shoulder, no matter if you're typing fast, they can always see the basically the entire password by the letters that are showing up here. And to disable this, we can go into the, again, settings, and then it's gonna be under security and location. Scroll down, advanced, and the first thing you will see now is show password. Now, if you disable this now, and go back to actually putting in a password, you can see that it is now a immediate dot. There is no password visible apart from the, well, the letter that you have been pressing under your finger. But if you're typing fast, that is way harder to actually spot when someone is trying to peek over your shoulder and gain your password for some reason. Yeah, so moving on, we're gonna go into the uh, drop down notification panel and I find it in the settings and it has its own navigation bar setting right here. And what it is will allow you to do, as you can see, adds a little button and when you press it, it will just automatically drop down the panel. And this is a big phone, so if you're trying to use it one-handed, it is a fairly nice uh, addition to it. And uh, you can keep it uh, the arrow with a back, bear, back arrow on the side that it is, or you can also switch it to be on the right side as well, along with the button. So I'm just going to choose it to be the opposite side, so I don't, for instance, misclick it. And now if we leave here, you have this button, you can just tap on it pops up the notification panel, you tap it again, it extends it. And if you tap it again, it closes it. So now you don't have to reach all to the top of the display to actually pull it down. You can just simply tap the button right here. Now another thing that I'm gonna show is the gestures. Now, it's not really the gestures like right here, although we can disable them there. Um, but it's more of like, for instance, if I double tap, power button it opens up a camera and you can disable that if you for instance don't want it so you go into the settings and from there under system so right at the bottom advanced or oh, actually no it's not even advanced it's right here in the system gestures and then you have jump to camera and you can disable this so now if I double tap double power button nothing happens if you enable this and I double tap it opens up the camera and if you go back, you also have a swipe up on the home button. So that's basically the gestures that we have right here. You can disable this to have actual like normal buttons if you don't like it. So yeah, that's another option. And closing off, we're gonna finish with the, the, the developer options for basically the animations. So if you do anything, you can see that everything is basically animated. So you have, you, for instance, pull up the recent, it kind of like pops in there, tap it, it zooms into view, close it, it slides down and stuff like that. But we can basically either shorten it to be faster, thus also kind of improving the speed of, of them. You can basically access whatever you want it to a little bit faster. 
or just completely remove it and it will be instant. And to do it, we're gonna go into the system again and tap on advanced and go to about phone. And I believe right at the bottom, you will find a build number. Tap the build number seven times and you will get a message. You are now a developer. And if you go back, you will see that the developer option has kind of appeared here above about phone. You can tap on it. We have a bunch of developer options here, but the ones that are interesting to us are somewhere a little bit further past like middle. So right here we have window animation scale, transition animation scale and animation duration scale. And by default, they're set to one, that's the normal speed. Now, once you tap on it, you have a bunch of other options. You can, if you want to shorten them, you can set it to 0.5. If you want to turn them off, well, you select off. Now, just as an example, the window animation scale is basically the window that is opening up with the options right now. now if I set it to top times 10, you'll see that it kind of fades slowly in and out of view. Now I can set it to, for instance, off, and now it will be immediate. There's no animation, just disappears and appears. And you can basically do this with everything else. I'm gonna select off, considering this is the more drastic visual difference. So if I tap on it, there's no animation. Everything just appears and disappears from view, making the experience a little bit more quicker. So yeah, that's basically all I want to show. And if you found any of the tweaks and tricks helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.